This is the Yaesu FT DX10 and it's been able to do the one thing that only one other radio has ever been able to do and that has made me want to buy it. Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and uh, I've been asked by a few people uh, if I could review uh, the FTDX10 that I purchased. Um, well, not really, no. I don't really like doing reviews. What I will do is uh, share with you what I think about the radio and uh, perhaps uh, um, how I use it. And maybe that will help you in your decision. I'm not really into reviews, so. Okay, let's turn the uh, the radio on. Um, quite a reasonably quick start up. And we're straight in. So this is the Yesu uh, FT DX10 with the matching SP30 speaker. Um, there's, there's the speaker there. Um, and as I as I probably already stated in the intro. Um, I'm not really want to do a review of this radio. Um, there's been way too many of them already. Um, this is really more of a, um, a show you uh, what I think of the radio. I'm not going to go through all of the is this better than the uh, the 991A. Um, I think it is. Um, the, do the downside, of course, is this radio doesn't have two meters uh, and 70 centimeters. It's purely an HF and 50 uh, megahertz transceiver. Uh, but that's it, it's designed to do that precisely. Um, what do I think of it? Well, I think it's possibly the best HF radio I actually own. Um, the, the reception is phenomenal. The, the clarity of um, the voice it's like being on a um, high definition telephone. It's really, really good. Um, the the dial uh, works really nicely. It's uh, nicely weighted. Um, it, it's just a really, really nice uh, piece of equipment. Um, the outside dial is um, really neatly done as well. You, you can speed through the, uh, the VFO much quicker and then use the inner one to you know to do the fine tuning that's a nice touch um you can also program the outer dial so that you can use it on for instance i've done mine for, for power so i can uh, whack the um the power up to maximum or bring it down to uh, somewhere nice and uh, um, uh, low if i'm using it locally or if i'm feeding it into the an amplifier for instance so it's a really nice um easy way of doing things um 75 75 there you go you you the band selection uh, there's an update now with the firmware which has brought it back into use if you like uh, if you click the band you can now use the outer ring to select the band that you want to go to uh, which is really quite nice um, 
you you can also obviously touch the screen if you wanted to to take it to the band um, the only well, it's not the only thing but one of the things that I dislike about the radio is the length of time that these stay up um, they're not quite long enough it would be really nice if they actually stayed up until you cancelled it or or you touch the screen just to select where you want it to go um, it doesn't do any of those things unfortunately so it's it's slightly frustrating when you when you press it and you want to adjust it and you're having to read something and then it disappears before you actually get the chance to press it anyway i'll quickly go through the screen setup it is really really simple let me just whack it up to a frequency that uh, we've actually got someone talking on and we'll turn off the amplifier so I normally set and run the radio uh, with the um, with the IPO actually switched off. In other words, the preamp switched off. I, I kind of like to think that uh, my antenna system is, is good enough to be able to receive the signals without having to amplify. Um, obviously, uh, you, you have to use the amplifier in, in, um, in quiet conditions, um, but I like it switched off. I also like the attenuator switched off. It's a personal choice again, but on powerful signals, it's very, very easy to use. And it's actually got more selections than most radios in this price range. Uh, you can hit the button. And as you can see, you've got six, 12 or 18 dB to choose. 12, and it's as simple as that. And it works instantly. Um, it's, it's really, really nice. It's a simplistic and easy, um, system i do like the touchscreen side of things let me just tune this in as you can hear you know it's really really lovely sound quality from the radio let's turn that off now if you find that the um the scope if you like isn't um, bright enough for you or it doesn't have enough gain um, you actually can use the function switch to increase the, the dB gain uh, on the display it doesn't change the radio's dB gain just turn that down. it doesn't change the uh, the radio's reception dB gain but it does adjust the scope's dB so you can see more signals oh if it's too bright obviously you can turn it down and and then basically what you're left with is less background noise and only the stronger signals will appear on your on your scope. That's quite helpful, actually, if you go into the 3D mode. Um, 3D mode is something that I rarely use. I don't particularly like it, but I can understand its advantages. Um, it's, it's another way of looking at, at it as as um, as the the, the waterfall if you like <laughs> the waterfall's turned through 90 degrees and it's fading backwards instead of from top to bottom um the, the beauty of this is you actually got the the strength of the signals by the the height of the peaks um, and you can actually adjust it so that um if you don't like i mean that's a busy scope and makes it pretty impossible to understand what's going on if you turn the gain on the scope right right down um, perhaps even to minus one or minus two, depending on how much is going on on the band. You'll see that you've basically cut the grass down and uh, you're only going to get through now um, the very strong signals. So there's a signal here, 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 here and here, and there's one just come in there and so on and so forth, which is quite nice. If you want to go to it straight away, you can just touch the screen and it will just simply go to that frequency. Um, and, you know, you'll be able to... There you go. You'll be able to go straight to the frequency and, and hear what's going on. Um, it's not my cup of tea. I, I, I like it, but I personally prefer um, the waterfall. So that's where we're going to go back to. I understand the waterfall. Maybe it's because my brain is two dimensional. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I can only think in two dimensions. I like the the, um, the waterfall in compared to the 3D scope. Okay, it's personal preference. Uh, what else? Okay, so you've got the attenuator here, um, the, 
the uh, the IPO is basically the preamp off, preamp on, and two. So you've got, um, I believe it's a three dB gain uh, amplifier, and then a six dB amplifier. I, I'm not sure about that. I could check in the books, but that's my understanding. Basically, preamp one, preamp two. Simplistic. I don't like it on. Again, if I can avoid it, um, you do need it if uh, you have weak signals and it works incredibly well, guys. It's really, really good. Um, the AGC, I've, I've blown over the filter. The filter is evident. If you're on SSB, you want to be using the 3 kilohertz um, filter. If you go down to the 500 kilohertz filter, it's way too narrow. And the only thing you can hear is what you would normally use for CW. So again, if you've got extra filters um, attached or in installed, I can understand the need for the, the, the being able to select it, but um, I don't know, it is what it is. Uh, auto gain control, um, automatic gain control. I actually leave on auto. The radio does an incredibly good job um, and you know, for what I use it for, sort itself out. It works really well, really, really well. Okay, so there's a couple of other things I really like about the, the radio. Um, it took me ages to find it. And in fact, it was um, Mark and, and Callum that pointed out that I was being uh, an idiot and um, that there was actually a beat count or, or beat um, control to take away the you know the the, the squeal you get when uh, someone's tuning up and it's there it's called uh, digital noise um well, i forgot what it stands for now but that's it you turn that on uh, and it, and it will get rid of all of the um the beat oscillator it gets rid of the 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 yeah you know what i mean you know what i mean anyway i might edit that bit out i might not what else can I talk to you about on this radio? Um, noise blanker. I don't know what it does. It doesn't seem to do a lot for me. Um, I've got no real um, mechanical or electrical interference um, nearby. Um, I, pres I presume that would be very much like the noise blanker in your car where you turn it on and it would um, take out the, the, the gaps or spark plug. Um, noise. Um, I don't have it anywhere near me. I don't really see anything happening with it. It can be adjusted uh, if you press and hold and then you can turn the level of the, um, the noise blanker up and down. It doesn't seem to do anything for me in any position. Lucky me. Well, what's the thing I like uh, about it the most? I, I must say that the digital noise processing, um, the, the, the DNR, um, digital noise reduction, I believe they call it on this particular radio, is phenomenal. And I will mean it is phenomenal. It's not switched on at the moment. You don't really need it on this particular signal, but I shall demonstrate it on this signal. So listen carefully. Thank you, 598, Echo Uniform, 034. Okay. Delta Romeo Papa, Roger, Roger, and number 4. Thank you, good luck. Echo Sierra 0, Italy Alpha. Just amazing. Delta Julia Tony, Delta Julia 3, go. Delta Junior 6, Delta Oscar, good afternoon, 5-9-0-0-9, Echo Uniform, 0-3-4. Thank you, 7, good luck, Echo Sierra 0, Italy Alpha. Delta Kilowatt Box Yankee, 5-9-0-1-0, Echo Uniform, 0-3-4. Echo Uniform, 0-3-4. Uniform 
La perdita è più cosa? Ecco Serra Zero, Italia Alfa. Sì, che cosa? Sì, che cosa? Ecco Sugar Zero, Italia Alfa. India Bike Fight, Old India Bike Fight. Delta Charlie 5, India Mike Mike. Florida Charlie 5, India Mike Mike, Roger. No, no, Roger. Delta Charlie, Delta Charlie 5, Italy, Mexico, Mexico. Delta Charlie 5, India Mike Mike, Roger. Uh, Delta Charlie 5, India Mike Mike, thank you. 5 9 0 1 1, Echo Unipo 0 3 4. Italy Whiskey to Hotel Alpha Juliet Contesta. I love contests. Let's find something a bit of noise. someone on a slightly higher frequency there could be a good idea to show you the notch at this moment so the notch is a lovely piece of kit Ooh, wrong one so the notch has worked really really well take out the uh, the guy on the on the high frequencies and we've also got a contour on here as well which allows us to to take it out even further if we wanted to it's really quite a clever piece of kit or if you don't like it at all you can just wind it down so that they're not actually in the band at all okay and you can make that uh, narrow Incredibly well. Hello, everyone. Tango David. Echo Sierra, Germany Papa. Echo Sierra, Papa. Papa Zulu United. Five nine zero two zero. Echo Zulu zero ninety six. Thank you. Hello, and you hold it in, Tango David. And it will cancel both. Echo okay. Zulu Whiskey Border. Now there was a couple of things I really wish that um, Yesu would include on uh, the radio um, and that's with the function here's here I know we've got the outer ring okay and we've got the inner ring that does the VFO but it really really would be nice for this to do one kilohertz jumps um, so that when you you could press the function button in as you can do, and select it to do the one kilohertz um, jump, so it would change this as um, a nice function, um, rather than having to use the, the VFOs, because um, even though it can be relatively quick by doing it like so, um, it, it is much nicer, or would be much nicer, if it was just a surgical 1K um, on, on the function just like it is on the 991A. Um, but there we are, it's just something that I'm um, suggesting. Uh, I mean, I can go on for hours on this radio. I find it possibly the best radio that I've, I own. Um, for the HF bands. That being said, my, uh, my camera's better. 
bit of a sad git when it comes to my Kenwood. What a wonderful radio. Thanks for watching.